We at the Safety Net believe in gender equality. We've spent all of October talking about breast cancer and promised you a men's special this November. So today, we're talking about a little place deep inside of you when no one seems to have gone before. Your prostate. Oh, by the way, before we start, I'd just like to say that I know most men are not comfortable watching a woman on screen give pravachan on their privates. So we decided to have this episode as a podcast. Now that I'm not making anyone uncomfortable and you're only here to listen to important health-related information, please do make sure you grab a friend or your dad to listen to this and spread the awareness. Okay, ready? Cool. So prostate. What is it? Now the prostate is a small walnut-sized gland. If you look at your screen, you'll see that it is located between your bladder and urethra and seminal vesicles and testicles. The two major tubes that you see passing through it are the urethra right in the center of the prostate which helps bring out the urine from the bladder. Ye wala yaad rakhna baad mein bahut kaam aayega. And the ejaculatory ducts which carry sperms from the testes pass it into the urethra from where they get ejaculated through the same pathway. The prostate secretes a fluid that protects the sperm from the acidic environment of the vagina to improve the chances of the sperm reaching and fertilizing the ovum to lead to conception because basically whether you're male or female everything in your body has to mature and enable you to fulfill your only purpose of existence which is having kids you see god and biology also believe in gender equality <laughs> now the prostate is a thorough gentleman throughout its life like all the good men we know first being a good son then a good husband a good father all along when around the age of 50 he starts to have a delayed midlife crisis and realizes hey aaj kuch toofani karte hain i'm tired of being in the background and being the provider and playing the supporting act so he starts making its presence felt and the cells of the prostate grow in size or it begins to have what we call hyperplasia when that happens you remember that tube called the urethra that is surrounded on all sides by this attention seeking prostate now well it looks like we're in a bit of a spot there uski thodi si lag gayi the prostate grows all around it and as a result the first symptoms that we see related to this hyperplasia are related to passing of urine either you'll have difficulty in passing urine you'll have hesitancy ruk ruk ke aana ya fir dribbling of urine or your frequency of going to pass urine increases especially at night or you need to strain people usually associate this with aging and that's correct now this growth can be malignant or benign more common is benign prostatic hyperplasia or bph it occurs in men beyond the age of 50 and can be cured in initial stages with medicines or a surgical procedure called TURP if left untreated bph can cause problems in the bladder ureter and kidneys because of constant collection and improper drainage of urine due to pressure on the urethra around 10 to 12% of patients end up having prostatic cancer it's the second most common cancer in men This is a cancer that can be treated very well if caught in initial stages and the person can live a healthy life post surgery and treatment. But if caught late, it has a tendency to metastasize to different parts of the body very fast, especially to the bones and spine. Late stages could present as just backache. So how do we catch it early? Awareness about the problem and its symptoms, like the urine problems I spoke about earlier, and a regular physical examination of all men over the age of 50 in this case for men that would mean getting a digital rectal exam which is exactly what it sounds like the doctor will insert his finger into your rectum and feel for any enlargement in the prostate now unlike women who do end up going to visit their gynecs at least once a year especially since they've had children Men are not used to this kind of invasive examinations and we found them to be very shy when it comes to discussing their private parts or especially getting examined in this way. If you do have a digital rectal exam or DRE positive, 
Then we also check something called the PSA levels or prostate specific antigen levels in your blood. Now if both these are positive, you must see your doctor for further analysis which can include a biopsy, MRI or other tests before coming to the decision whether it is BPH or prostatic cancer. Like I said earlier, if caught early, treating even prostatic cancer is not as bad as it may seem. With newer advanced techniques and medicines, you can live a very good life post-treatment. But the main issue is understanding the symptoms, catching it early and seeing your doctor on time. Every year, a whopping 15 lakh prostatic cancer cases among men are detected in India, of which 85% are stage 4 cancers, which means the doctors don't give them more than 3 years to live. When it comes to any problems related to intimate areas of your body like your reproductive organs, you will be the first person and usually the only person to know. So it's important that you get all the information you need and arm yourself to deal with these issues. Remember, never lose heart, every problem has a solution and we are here to help you. Stay safe and stay healthy. If you like this video and would like to see more of these health updates, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, The Safety Net.in, on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. See you next week.